at the website. Oh my god, y'all need these prints. What? And then we have tea towels. Oh, you added more. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. And then just like the, like, you can get the prints individually too. Okay. Oh, this looks mm -hmm. good, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you a tea lover? Yes, I am. Period. Period. <laughs> Sip quality got textiles. Don't play with them. <laughs> um, okay, your girl is excited to try Olipop. Which one should I try first? Oh my gosh. Let me know in the comments. Root beer or strawberry vanilla? Root beer or strawberry vanilla? Let me know. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously going to be too late, so let's just crack one open. Maybe I'll do a little itty meeny miny mo. <clears throat> Any mean my milk is So if you guys love my mama told me to pick that very best one and you are not it. Oh dang, I kinda wanted to try the root beer. Girl, try the root beer. <laughs> it's cool. I'll just make sure I come on camera again and try the other one. Watch the root beer be better than the vanilla, which is fine. I heard it is. Yeah? Okay. We're gonna say the best for last. We're gonna try the one that we not so confident in. Is this the probiotic drink or prebiotic? This is a prebiotic. It's just a pre. It doesn't say pro. What's the difference between pre and pro? Okay. Mm-mm. I don't like strawberry vanilla's tasting. Mm-mm. I think it's just a flavor. When I hear strawberry vanilla, I think of like the, the strawberry vanilla ice creams where it got the like the cream sickle in the middle. I'm not a cream sickle. Like I like orange, but I'm not like a God, I can't like the you know how people like those popsicles that are like have the strawberry crust on the outside and the inside is like oh, creamy. I love those. Yeah, I hate those. <laughs> and this those that's what days. this is giving. What are those called? Um strawberry crunch bars. Yeah, something like that. So I'm not really mm mm. They do have a cream sickle, like an orange cream sickle though. Yeah. And it's one of their best sellers. You want this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna pass the torch here. Well, here's the color of it. Got a little bit of natural strawberry, strawberry flavor. Yes. Give you some color. <laughs> yeah. Um, you you know you like this one? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Let's see. I kind of got you a half shot. See, it's getting questionable. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's like a weird, interesting taste. Like I don't know, it's different. It's, I don't really care for the strawberry one, y'all. I'm just being honest, but I'm excited to try the root beer. I'm gonna try it later. I don't feel like trying it right now, but okay. I'm gonna put you guys down because I need to get some work done, and most of the work I gotta do is on this SD card. So I'm gonna catch y'all later. Nova's down for her nap. She cried herself to sleep, y'all. She was not listening today, but hey, story of my life, mom life. If you know, you know. That's actually really great because that way her video can be done for the week. Nova requested that she be able to show you guys her outfit. So I'm going to pass the camera to her. This is my Aloha shirt. I don't know what you're doing. Why are you messing up my cute hairstyle with the headband? I'm not. Doody. Wear a headband tomorrow when your hair gets fuzzy. 
Oh, see y'all, this is the camera I was talking about that actually showed them. That actually takes footage <laughs> and the clips don't really look bad. Hey guys, welcome back to yeah, my channel. This is in the morning. Show mommy. My mommy's Show mommy the camera. Turn it around. Keep it recording. See, it is fully recording. Fully recording. Yeah. All right, go do your bathroom stuff. Mommy's about to get dressed. You can take the thing off. It is 9.06, which is definitely on the later side of bringing Nova to school. If we're really on time, like we're, she's going to get to school on time, we usually leave the house by like 6.50, um, anytime before 7 o'clock, and then school opens at 7. Um, she's like at an in-home daycare, so it goes all year round, like the lady doesn't close on the, on the, on the summer times. A lot of the times the kids from like kindergarten and first grade they will come back to this lady's establishment um, because she does go every day all summer from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and so Nova is there full day every single day which is great because like this who knows we might put her back in next summer if it's a good morning and like i gotta go to work and stuff she's dropped off by the seven o'clock hour today was like a sleep in because i did stay up late last night editing and stuff so i don't think i went to bed until like 1 p.m um so i did sleep in. she woke me up this morning but i like was being lazy in the bed like y'all saw this morning but i did manage to finish her hair yesterday which took a little bit like she didn't go to bed until like 10 30 last night because she had a late nap yesterday she was on one nova was having a little bit of a rough day yesterday so she did end up taking a late nap and i just let her sleep that afternoon so she didn't wake up till like 7 p.m um so anyways and then i woke her up did her hair and by the time we ate dinner and so it was like 10 30 when she went to bed so that's what the lazy morning for for right now on today's today's agenda it just includes dropping her off going to the gym i'm about to go to hot works today i'm not going to do like the gym gym i'm going to do the gym gym tomorrow i'll maybe i'll call Demetri and see if he would like to work out in the morning and then um but today I like to work out in the morning yeah I typically try to do the morning because it's a higher probability that I'll actually work out if it's earlier in the morning but if mommy waits too long to go to the gym it's it's harder for me to get my workout in mm-hmm so today I'm gonna do hot works I try to do at least three times a week at hot works because like your girl I need to get my money's worth what am I paying for you know what I'm saying and I'm horrible at signing up for gym memberships and not going but hot works is a little bit more expensive per month and so I'm like no I need to make sure I'm going actually like physically in there sweating so how it works today probably regular gym tomorrow and when I get back I've thought about going to the pool but I really need to like just work and edit because tomorrow is upload day so I need to just make sure everything is in place for tomorrow our laundry basket is full so simultaneously I'll be editing all day slash doing laundry and really just chilling in the house I'm gonna cook some dinner I'm gonna prep dinner early today and make sure that that's out the way um, way before Nova gets home this evening so good old Tuesday nothing too major today nothing too grandiose I really need to go to Sephora but I spent way too much money yesterday at gosh darn Target like way more than I thought I was gonna spend so that's a four haul not haul but that's a four run might needs to wait a second too much also all right school gym home let's get it 
Nova is dropped. I am pulling, oh, Jesus. I'm pulling into the parking lot now where the gym is. I didn't have a moment to meditate yet. So I'm gonna show up for myself really quick. I have about 14 minutes before my class starts, my workout class starts. So I'm about to meditate, do like a little 10 minute. 10 minute meditation really quick and usually this is like something that I usually do like I'll just sit here in the car and I'll meditate before my class starts if I'm a little early so it's 10 minutes let me go ahead and do it now and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys into the gym with me because I think I have my room is I think I have the room to myself so I should be able to set the camera up and show you guys what hot works it's about <laughs> You have the Hotworks app, and then you come into the sauna room, which is what you just saw me walk into. You can connect to your Apple Watch, so like you can hear it. It's like a video screen that you follow, and the room fits up to three people in it, so it's pretty cool in here. And then you can control like the temperature. I usually like to keep it all the way up. And the class is 40 minutes. So yeah, this is how you control the temperature and stuff of the sauna and then so when you sign up for Hotworks you do have to get all of their equipment so it comes with a yoga mat um, and then you're supposed to lay your towel on top of the yoga mat. Okay, get your Hotworks towel and the workout starts in five, four, for the day okay it's 10 30 i'm about to run back to the house shower i have a video that i need to film um and then i think i'm gonna like take my work day over to i'm gonna make breakfast and then take my work day over to chanel's house um, work over there i'm gonna work at home first like i'm gonna shower i have a video i want to film actually i really might i might wait to film it until tomorrow I haven't decided yet what the vibe is i might just edit today and then film tomorrow um but either way the sweat is done let's go home and take me a shower girl i'm back home but i forgot to show you guys the doormat that i got yesterday at target anyways home now time for a nice shower was exquisite um i'm about to i'm dressed now put on a bathing suit about to go pop over to chanel's and do a little work at the pool her video is currently uploading on my 
laptop. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave my laptop here and not do any laptop work until I get back. There are some pieces of content that I can edit like on my phone um, that I haven't worked on yet. So I can do that by the pool, like on my phone and stuff. So that's the vibe. I'm gonna go to the pool real quick while the video uploads. It says it's gonna be like 45 minutes for the video to upload. So yeah, I'm gonna move the work day party over and then I'll come back, I'll shower. I'll shower. I think Chanel's gonna come here because she was like, we're more productive <laughs> at my house. So I think she's gonna come back over here. I'm gonna shower and then that's when I'll start editing the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And y'all know I post on Wednesdays and weekly vlogs on Sundays. So anyways, let me get out of here. I have an extra battery charger. I have the camera. The camera can connect to Wi-Fi to send to my phone so I don't need anything there. Oh, let me bring like, I definitely need to bring my water bottle. And Chanel has green juice, but I'm gonna also. No, I think just water and green juice should be fine. I'm not gonna bring like a whole bunch of stuff because I made Chanel some breakfast as well, so I need to make sure I don't leave that. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Catch y'all at the pool. perfect amount of time being out there when I looked at the clock and said 1 30 I low-key said 1 30 in my head but didn't know like if that was gonna come too quick but the rain made the decision for me so I'm showered refreshed and now I need coffee review this one seven plus nine is sixteen that's this correct two plus three plus five okay. and zero plus two is two All right. and three plus eight is eleven mm -hmm. and two plus five is seven yeah. and seven plus eight is fifteen that's right. and four plus four is eight and eighteen plus one is nineteen mm -hmm. and eighteen plus mm -hmm. four eighteen plus what eight plus four is twelve okay. and three plus one is four and two plus seven is nine and nine plus eight is seventeen mm -hmm. and two plus one is three mm -hmm. and six plus zero is six and seven plus six is thirteen and five plus nine is fifteen and seventeen plus thirteen is twenty and Six plus four is ten. Good job. So you did well on all of them except one. And it was this one right here. So remember the trick daddy taught you? So um, so let's count this one again one more time, okay? Okay. It's okay. Um, it's, it's just one. And then, then that's it. Good job, Nova. That was really good.
Good morning. It is the next day. It's Wednesday. Um, today's agenda includes editing laundry in the gym and we are about to go to the gym right now. So let's get this sweat on. I think I ended last night with like cooking dinner or something. So I don't really fully remember, but just know it's a new day. So let's get the day started. All right. So Dimitri's with me. Hi. Hello, everybody. Um, so... Yeah, lately I've been working out with, well, lately Dims will be coming over and he'll help me, like, work out and stuff. And, like, you know, just teach me the ropes and guide me. But, oh, my gosh, we just walked into my gym and there's so many people in the thing. Like, so many people, even a dog was in there. Like, what is going on right now? I guess everybody decided to come work out during their lunch. I don't know if I... If, uh, you know what we could do instead of thought we could about do some yoga. Yeah, we could go do some yoga. I'm, I'm just to. The, I think I'm. I feel a little flabbergasted because I have so much I need to do. Because I leave for work tomorrow, so it's like I really need to. Oh, aren't you gonna drop duty off tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. Um, I leave tomorrow evening for work, but I mean I'm just working overnight. But it's still like the anxiety of like knowing I have stuff to do, and just like wanting to get started. Like I don't know. I just feel like my whole life is just drowning in edits, and like. I should have got up this morning Left and right. went to the gym to Sprouts. Oh, sorry. Well, which Sprouts do you prefer? Anyways, long story short, I should have got up this morning, worked out. I would have already had it out the way and not been stressed about trying to work out and do. That's my problem. When I don't work out early in the morning, um, it's hard for me to wrap my head around working out because I know like the rest of my day is going to be so full. So anyways, we're about to pop over to Sprouts, grab a few things and then I'm gonna come back home and just get to work. Today has been one of those like flop days. Like just throw the whole day away. Let's go to bed and wake up tomorrow and try again. Ciao. The gym was a fail. The grocery store was a success. Then I went to go transfer the files from this SD card, mind you, which is what I have been filming this entire weekly vlog on to my hard drive so I can start editing it and clear this SD card so I can film some more. Babe, I deleted the whole first two days of the entire vlog, which was most of the clips. And so I went to go edit and realized I didn't transfer all the all of the correct clips. And then I formatted the card and now they're gone. So half of this whole weekly vlog, guys, like there was so much footage from Sunday and Monday. And now I only have like the evening of Monday and yesterday. It just is just like, honestly, it's traumatizing, very stressful. And I just honestly was just going to say, forget the whole weekly vlog. But I guess I'll just continue. I guess I'll just continue filming and just post what I have because what the heck? You go and you try to do great things, you know, start weekly vlogging and all that good stuff. Start editing ahead of time so that you, I'm not falling behind and blah, blah, blah. All these things just for it to flop right in my face so anyways my mom is here to pick up something so i'm gonna run down give it to her and then i'll come back and nova should be home soon as well so we're just gonna do our little evening routine i'm just not even in the mood to have the camera so honestly i will more than likely see you guys tomorrow morning for a fresh day a fresh start because today blew me
I haven't been to Red in some months, so I decided to come over here and do a good little work day. So, not in my typical scene. I can't get it It's like away from everybody. Of course, the sausage biscuit and the dirty chicken. I haven't had a dirty chai in so freaking long. I'm trying to connect to the Wi Fi, but something's going on with the Wi Fi. Usually, they always change their password frequently, like once a month or once every couple months. But, um, like it's not connecting at all. So anyway, it's my computer's running a diagnostic test. I'm also pretty much working on client work today. This video that Chanel gave me is almost 300 clips. So it's gonna take me some time. But um, knowing her and how she likes my editing style, I'm sure that I could try to like, I don't know, Lord. I'll just see how long this actually takes me. It is. Currently 8:57, so let's get the workday started. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another day. Today is Thursday. Um, I've had a pretty productive morning for the most part. Um, the only thing I did not do this morning was get up early and work out like I was supposed to. That was the original plan, and I didn't wake up till like 7:11, which is stressful because I need to be walking into the gym at that time. And Nova already be dropped off and everything. So Nova was knocked out. I was knocked out. I woke up and shot out the bed. And I was like, crap. It's late in my, like, you know, snooze my alarms, all the things. But last night, I kind of just ended the evening um, cleaning and clearing out my space. Um, Y'all know I've recently moved. So I was able to get my bedroom together and finally clear the space on the floor because I had all of my, like, winter clothes and then a last, and then a few, like, last, stretch items that I had brought in from like the last trip of my thing so literally it's so nice to just have a clear space on my floor again or my, on my floor in my bedroom nothing is out of place literally and literally the only thing left to like unbox for my move are books like these two boxes are full of books I think this one has a few home decor little knickknacks maybe possibly it's questionable <laughs> but for the most part this these boxes are like full of books and things that belong well aside from the accumulation of Nova school where she comes home every day with like so many papers but all of this stuff are books like these are like my little Bible study books and then this bin is full of just books like so I bought a floating bookshelf to go right here literally just bought it while I was at the coffee shop on my little mental break <laughs> i did a little bit of shopping i made a sephora order because i was out of hydrovisor um my the the moisturizer i use every day plus i was out of um so i was like i did a little shopping and i've been really wanting to try makeup by mario so i purchased that along with the foundation brush and a concealer girl your girl just went shopping and then i was like let me go over to amazon because i need a little phone stand so my phone can sit at my desk or like if i'm making cooking reels or reels in the kitchen or really reels anywhere i can like sit my phone and whatever anyways i needed that and i was like oh let me see if they have a floating bookshelf and i found one on amazon so it'll be here overnight shipping it'll be here between 4 and like 8 a.m or something like that so i'm super excited hopefully we can unbox and put that together in the next video but yeah i've had a pretty productive day i just came back from the coffee shop once i realized like okay I needed to take like a mental break. I had started around nine o'clock and then around like 11.40 is when I decided, it was like 11.30 that I started like shopping around. And then by like 11.45, I was like packing up my stuff to get in the car and head back home. So I'm actually gonna take a moment, take a little breather, enjoy my empty house without Nova being here. Um, 
and then go get Chanel and her niece uh, Brooklyn so they can come over here me and Chanel are gonna get some work done and it's just easier it's gonna be kind of cool for Brooklyn to come over because she has a full vacant room <laughs> of toys and stuff that she can play with while we work so that way she can kind of like be occupied and stuff like that because originally I was gonna go over there but it kind of does make sense for her to for them to come here and Brooklyn can play um so yeah that's how the rest of the day is going we're gonna pick up um after school today Nova's going to Dem's mom's house which is kind of a ways away so she's gonna stay for like the entirety of the weekend we'll probably pick her up uh like Sunday or Monday I'm not really sure yet I do fly out on Saturday so whoever goes and gets her which will probably be Dimitri. He'll probably get her like Sunday or Monday. Um, I'm not really sure just yet when that'll happen, but today will probably be the last day you guys see her on the vloggy vlog. So for the rest of the week until the next week's vlog. So anywho, I'm gonna enjoy a couple of moments to just breathe, meditate, probably make some more tea, and then go get them so we can get back to work. My Sephora order is actually ready and I was about to head out to go get Chanel. But I'm actually swinging by, pick up my order real quick, and then get her on the way back. Just makes more sense because I don't foresee myself leaving the house again today. I ordered everything online and did a pickup. So, of course, so the whole reason I made it a Sephora order in the first place is because I needed um, a refill to my moisturizer. The moisturizer I use is the Hydrovisor from Fenty Skin. So, we had to get that. Um, so the other, the rest of the products are all new products. Well, one of them is not new. I've used it in the past. I just decided to get a new, a new one. So that product is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is the concealer I used to use when I was like heavily wearing makeup. I got natural beige. I feel like that's the color I had last time. I was really guesstimating on these products. So there's that. But I'm pretty sure for my concealer, I need warm beige. I meant natural beige. Here's what it looks like. And obviously, I got this to conceal under my eyes and stuff. So we'll see how that works out for me. Hopefully it is the right color. Another thing I had to guesstimate on the color is my makeup by Mario foundation. I've been wanting to try the makeup by Mario uh, foundation for a while now. And so I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and get it, try it out. I wanted to wait until I was in person and could get my actual color, but I kind of just based it off of the color that I usually wear in the pro filter. So anyways, ah! here it is i'm so excited i kind of like i'm not a heavy makeup wear at all but i kind of wanted to like lately i've been more interested in finding my natural everyday like little beat like something to do when i like do go out and stuff because i'm very much of a i don't really need makeup i'm good on makeup type of gal but i decided you know what let's just try it out so girl i don't know what color i am in i am i am in but i got 11 in <laughs> this is what they recommended based off of my um fenty color so here's the packaging Ooh. and i believe oh jesus christ girl what in the world okay i don't know why i thought this was like a pump Oh, it is. Girl, what the hell? <laughs> um, I was like, I thought this was a pump. Like, what? Okay, anyways, we're just going to do... Let's do a little pump. This might be kind of dark. I mean, kind of... This might not be... This might be kind of light and ashy. It's giving... Uh, I don't know. I think it'd probably be better if I did it, like, on my actual skin. Okay, let's try just a little bit on my skin. Look, I'm already getting this shit dirty. Hmm. I can't really tell right now. We're gonna have to test, to test that out later on. 
We might have to test this one out later on. When I have a little more time. I don't know. She could work. But then again, I just put a very small bit. So I don't really know. Unless this is my exact color and it blends in that well. <laughs> I don't really know. But that's what I got. 11 in. I might have to go up a shade. But we'll see. Um, also from Makeup by Mario, I got one of the cosmetic brushes. I got the... I believe this is the foundation brush. I'm pretty sure it's the F it's the F4 brush. And it says makeup by Mario and it's a dual sided. So it has this side and then it has this side. In comparison and I believe this is the foundation brush. Don't get me wrong. So I got that. Ooh, she's soft. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I've been wanting to try this next one for a while, too. This is the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. And, ooh, I'm just excited. I usually never do put any type of, like, primer or anything on my face before I do makeup. And I want to change that just to help my makeup, you know, last a little longer and all that good stuff so okay out the package this is what it looks like i decided to get this because i really wanted a makeup base that like kept keeps my skin hydrated so i'm really excited to try this out i'm gonna let you guys know maybe i'll do a face at some point and let you guys know how i'm liking all the products and if they worked out for me but yeah, that's pretty much what I got from Sephora. I came home, I ate lunch, didn't go get Chanel in Brooklyn. The plans ended up changing. Um, and so now I'm kind of just chilling. Like it's going to be a smooth, it's, it's going to be a pretty chill evening and nothing actually planned or scheduled or thought out. So, so yeah, we just vibing. I don't really keep like a lot of groceries at one time like I kind of like to weekly shop and just shop as I go it also helps me like anything that I need to be eating doesn't really have that long of a shelf life right so if I'm buying things that like are gonna last a long time except for like my oat milk and the lactate milk and a couple other things this still has some stuff in it but I'm about to film, I'm about to film my summer dewy skincare. Um, I actually get, honestly, okay, I'm not lying to the girlies, okay, I swear. You guys ask me often, like, on my other handles, like, Instagram and stuff, the skincare deets. So, I'm gonna film it. Um, so anyways, I, they're still, okay, I'll be using these until there's legit nothing left. So, we not throwing this away. I actually have more than one thing thing so I will just put that in there keep that one in the front um what else do I need I'm gonna start the video I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my face I mean do everything I'm gonna do everything like my full entire skincare routine daytime skincare routine for you guys so so yeah, that's what's gonna go down right now. So I'm just kind of grabbing this stuff and setting up. But anyways, um, I started the clip out by talking about my groceries and how I don't buy like a whole bunch of stuff at one time. Like I, I like to weekly shop. Um, anyways, why did I even start? I came on here to tell y'all something, but I guess I can't really recall what I was saying. Okay, I am currently setting up for currently setting up to film i'm probably going to change my top um i got my skincare here but i'm gonna wash my face in the room but i need to get my chair okay chair is here yeah i guess this isn't bad because I, it's a blank slate behind me oh my god this is gonna be such a good filming wall think smart girl when i right now in my place i have like literally the basics a bed in here 
a couch, a desk, a table. <laughs> so I don't really have like anything decor wise, but uh, this right here, I can already see the vision. Like instead of putting like making this in here, I would like probably do a table, like something, something skinny, right? But on the taller side, because I want to make sure that the space is like feeling elevated and feeling more grandiose, which is also why I kind of want to get a new mirror, but that's not a priority. I have a full body mirror over here, which works just fine. Um, it works just fine for the space right now, but, but, um, but yeah, things to help lift it and make it feel grand. Like when I get curtains, I'm going to put them up high Anywho, I just like my mind goes all day every day when I'm like in the house and I'm just like thinking about how I want to decorate the space and what kind of vibe I'm going for. But I don't want to like, I really don't want to limit myself to just one vibe for my crib either. Like I want, I just want to like get things that are beautiful and make beautiful spaces. I think that it's like really important when you have a smaller space to create moments on walls or in corners um i don't know so we're just gonna go with the flow honestly i've just been having these little ideas and stuff um like i told you i got the bookshelf so i'm really excited to unbox that tomorrow hopefully it just arrives on time but anyways i'm rambling i'm about to film this summer dewy skincare routine and then the baby should be home by the time i'm done filming honestly i should be done filming before she even gets back I was gonna take a nap because I just feel like tired. <laughs> I love taking naps. I just like I just been feeling so much fatigue this week. I don't know, like my energy levels and things are just like down. My allergies kind of been messing with me and just like it's just been like a really off week. The week has not gone how I thought it was gonna go at all. Hey, the aftermath of our skincare routine is officially filmed yay and i used my new products for the merit content i was supposed to make so that is done i can finally like actually leave these out <laughs> and put them where they go like put them away so let's just grab all this honestly um who am i kidding i have one hand so <laughs> oh so happy to have filmed that and my skin is looking good when i go to the gym in the mornings or like typically when i wake up to like run and go bring nova to school or to run to the gym i only like wipe my face off and then apply my moisturizer with spf on it i don't do like the whole shebang but i knew i was filming that video today so finally feels good to just have my skincare on my face and my face be looking glowy and dewy we're gonna try the olipop um i tried the strawberry cream didn't really care for it but here we are with the classic root beer so i'm gonna try this one so let's try this one. i think y'all saw the strawberry cream because i think i have clips all the way up from when we got back from target i believe that tastes just like root beer and i love root beer you know, it tastes like fake root beer, but it tastes like root beer. Mmm! 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 I could drink this, like, with dinner and feel like... Like I'm drinking root beer. Like I'm drinking the actual soda. This is 35 calories. Not too many sugars. Only 2 grams of sugars. 16 carbohydrates. <laughs> Okay, wait. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm not mad. Mm. I had this at all. Oh, I'm the Canada root beer once. I tried the ginger lemon. I tried the ginger lemon yesterday at Chanel's house and I liked it. I didn't like it as much as she likes it, but I do like it. This right here. You want to buy me something? Buy me a case of these right here. The classic root beer. 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Yep. That'll do it. Look who's home. Black, I miss you so 
much. You really can be so surprised. What? <laughs> your bed's not made. Your 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 body on, on the floor. floor. What you got going on, man? Yeah. You just gonna throw it on your bed? <laughs> I got my mommy in here. Today is Nova's Friday because she is going to her grandma's house tonight. Okay, now. This is the glass cleaner. Mm -hmm. Mommy's gonna spray it first. Don't open it. Okay, yes, ma'am. Okay, spray that side. Okay. Careful, make sure the spray is. Don't get too close to it now. You gotta back up a little. Yeah. <laughs> spray it. Good. Okay. Use both. Here we go. Wow, it looks so much better. You gotta get over there too. All the way at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Looks clean, right? Good job. Now this is your responsibility every time you clean your room. You said it. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't it look much cleaner now? Yeah. Don't touch it. You just cleaned it. <laughs> You're crazy. Nothing better than a clean room. Having a little work. Day, work night vibe with Chanelli. About to open some wine. I'm editing. She's filming and editing. We're doing all the things. Ended up dropping Nova off at Grandma Rose's house. So she's going to be there for the weekend because I'll be working and um, we have plans tomorrow. Doing a tequila tasting tomorrow, actually. I'm really excited to do that. Um, but tonight, it's giving, it's, oh, I've had that before. It's giving productive mommy. It's giving, I work hard for money. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, keep the vibes. Wow, what's that thing? It's supposed to, I'm like, did I break it? I don't remember it being this hard. Hmm. It just cuts off the top. Okay. I'm just sticking that thing right on the... <laughs> <laughs> it's just harder to pull out when you do it that way. Yeah. I... I literally slept the entire day away. Like... I didn't actually get out of the bed until like 1.30. And I've been just kind of like really lax, just kind of chilling, gathering my freaking bearings. It was nice to have slept in. I pulled an all-nighter with Chanel last night, but it was a productive all-nighter. I finished two videos and then we ended up going to like Waffle House. It was so late. It was like 2.30. No, it was three. It was three because the first Waffle House that we went to, they were like, um, the kitchen's going to be down for 30 minutes, basically like so they could have a break. And we're like, well, people got to eat. So we luckily there's Waffle Houses on every other corner. So we went to another one down the street, ate, and I don't think I got back home till like 430 in the morning. And immediately knocked out, of course. I did not stay up. Like, immediately went to bed. And I've been asleep ever since. I woke up a little bit this morning, just kind of like in and out. But like, your girl didn't actually get out of the bed until 1.30. So, with that being said, tonight we're going tequila tasting. So, I'm really actually excited about that. I have about two hours to like get myself together. I'm about to make my bed. <laughs> um, Make my bed. And then I'm going to hop in the shower and just like get this together because it's giving a hot mess um and then i'm gonna get dressed on camera so i'm gonna put some makeup on because i have like new products and stuff so i'm really excited to try some of them so i figured why not try them in the weekly vlog instead of trying to do like a separate video i might as well just put it in this like i got a lot going on okay um outfit wise i plan on being just like 
really chill and I think I want to slick my hair back it should be a like a pretty quick get ready with me but I still want to film it so regardless if the camera's on it's gonna take me a little longer than the normal I think that I'm gonna make my bed figure out my outfit no here's what we're gonna do game plan make the bed run and make some iced coffee then pick my outfit set up my shower and then get in the shower do skincare and all of that and then i'll sit back down to do makeup hair and get dressed okay one two three break audiobooks have been my gem i'm like reading two to three books a month nowadays i've been reading multiple books at a time so like i'm listening to one thing on on i'm reading one thing on kindle but then I'm listening to like maybe two different books on Audible because I really like to listen to like my self-help and self-development books Audible. I like to have the physical copies too, but for the most part when I get through the first read of them, it's always on Audible. And then I also will be doing like a fiction entertainment for pure pleasure book on Audible as well that I'll read like later in the day. But then I'll also be reading like physical books, which is like the least percentage that I read like our physical books. Um, but I continuously purchase them because I do like, like, you know, some days I am chilling in the house and I want an actual book in my hand. So I like all different ways of reading, but the best thing about Audible for me is like not sponsored or anything, but I just love it because it's like, instead of cutting on the TV, you can cut on a book. It's like the same kind of vibe, but you can get lost in the stories, which is why I've been so interested. The series I'm reading right now is by Alexa Martin. So I'm, I'm like hating all of her books right now. Um, and I'm currently on the fourth book of the series. It's called the, the Snapped, which I believe is the last book of the series. So it's pretty good. So I'm going to like to put that on while I get my things together, make some coffee and I got my, my outfit. I only have about three and a half hours left Found it. this book. Wanna follow me there? I hate choosing restaurants, so this works for me. Sounds good. Let me just go shut down everything and grab my purse. Hopefully I'll manage to not make a total fool out of myself. Again. put makeup on my face and like ooh, I honestly can't even tell you the last time I put makeup on my face it's been a while but I just y'all saw yesterday I got some new stuff at Sephora so we're gonna be using the products today so let's hope everything turns out okay but I'm gonna do my hair first I'm confident I just plan on slicking it back um I took a really long time to do like my bathroom stuff. I'm kind of not rushing to get ready, but I need to move with purpose for sure. Like I don't need to be like taking my sweet time. Like no, I need to actually be getting dressed. So I brought my I brought my swivel desk desk chair into the bathroom because at first I was gonna do my get ready with me in my room where I filmed my skincare routine but I was like you know what I'd rather be in the bathroom so that I can actually like see myself in the mirror and stuff so back I guess now my only question is should my slick back be like completely slick back with no part should I do a middle part or should I do a side part side part slick back always slaps like in my opinion but something about the middle part slick back is more like grown. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then should I do it like super low? I should probably do it super low. Okay, I already have a middle part going on, so I guess that answers the question. I got this new um, edge brush at the beauty supply store, and it is so hard i it's i bought another one because i my the one that i did get when i purchased a new one because my stuff went out like the, my old one was like just broke and i had just like used it down to the very last you know 
moment I could, I went and bought a new one, but the new one is too soft. Like it's so soft that like it barely brushes the hair into place. And so I was like, okay, I need another one. So the last time I went to the beauty supply store, I picked that one up and I touched the bristles and I was like, oh yeah, okay, this is a hard brush. But babe, when I used it at the house, it hurts to even like, you cannot put full pressure down. I like, when I use this brush, it's so hard that I like brush like this, like very soft. If you try to actually, that, it hurts. It's literal pain. Like, I don't know why those bristles are so hard, but they are. Because usually I'll do ponytails and I will keep them up here and it'd be a bun. But I'm gonna make sure I like make it a point to really keep it low. I've been using the jam gel. First of all, I love Eco Style. I usually use the green one, um, the olive oil one. But after a while, it just like stops working on my hair. So this consistency is like Eco Style consistency. But this stuff is extra firm hold like if you put if you douse it on your hair it will get hard if you use a, a regular amount the, your hair won't be too 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 hard but one thing i really like is that it has a nice firm hold and no no flaking like it does not flake so i always go back and forth but for some reason i always just gravitate towards eco style the most but I, I be sleep on how good this gel product is. It's so good. Y'all know when you want your pony real slick, it's like arms are burning. It's a full upper body workout. My arms, they're burning. Okay. Woo! We're going to put a little more gel on there. And I think I'm not gonna do baby hairs today. I think we're gonna give the baby hairs a rest for today. Woo! At one point I was wearing my hair in slick back ponytails like this like every single day. And it really damaged the front of my hair like curl wise. Because of the retention, like con consistent retention like the pulling of your hair will make you have like almost like heat damaged curls in the front because you're pulling them to be straight and they stay straight. Think about when you take your hair out of your, your slick back, your hair is like hard and straight at the top. Okay. I want to go around one more time, but I should have used two hair bows. Okay. I'm going to use the little baby brush. Ooh, that's a lot of gel. Just a little baby brush to like, oof, y'all, ow, 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 okay, should I do my little Amish curls on the side? Goodness gracious, wow, that took me an entire 10 minutes like the full 10 all right so now we have this ponytail going on and the pony's cute but the top i'm wearing is light gray and so the only way i'll really be able to wear it down is if i like diffuse it and i don't really like doing that so and i don't really want to walk around with a big wet circle at the center of my back so with that being said, we will, she's going in a bun, with that being said. Woo! My hair is snatched, okay? It's tight. Should we do baby hairs or should we just leave her how she is? Okay, hands are washed. Let me put something on my lips. And then we're about to do some makeup real quick. We're, I'm going to try to do like a really quick face. I also just realized that I do not have, I don't have any like setting spray. 
or anything like that. So my face is just going to be like my face. Hopefully it doesn't like melt off or something. Okay, so I'm thinking really simple beats. Just like a really simple face. I want to have this Patrick Ta brow um, palette. But I don't have the proper tool to be able to like use that for real. So, oh my god, I haven't done makeup in so long. What do I even do first? What do I do first? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is how you know I've been rocking with Mara for a long time because I don't even think they make their blush in these anymore. The blush holders are now gold, like the rest of the brand. Um, here's one of them. Here's one that I got more recently. So, like, look how cool. Yes, generational packaging changes. How cute. I, I guess first things first, I need to do some primer. So I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Ooh, she's like sticky consistency. So I guess put them here. Okay. My face feels like tacky. I should probably do something to my eyebrows first. Um... I'm thinking I definitely want to do a laminated look, um, but I want to like, I guess, fill them in or outline them towards the bottom and just make them look a little bit more pronounced. I think contouring the bottom of them is going to help make them, make them stand out more or just look like I did something more to them. So I guess the only brow thing that I even have is the Merit, which I'm just like opening a fresh one. Um, I, have another, I have another opened one somewhere, but this is a fresh one. I just took out the package. It's the Merit, it's the Merit brow like brush. So it really is just like, like it really is just like you just brushing the brow. Ooh, let me use my new compact mirror. Okay, y'all can um, find all of these products down in the description box below if you want to shop you can definitely use the code that's in my description okay i did a little bit here i don't want to do a lot with this product because i don't want my eyebrows to just be looking like bushy you know they're already thick enough they don't really need too much unless i'm like lining the bottom of them but i don't really have anything to line them with so it's fine okay that's good enough but yeah, um, a lot of these products I'm using are Merit as well. So if you guys want to shop Merit, use, this, use the description, the link in my description box. Using the Born This Way Concealer in Natural Beige. Um, but yeah, if you use the link, you'll get, I think, 10% off. But also you get a free little handbag that holds all the makeup. Oh yeah, I think contouring the brow is about to be a game changer for me. I haven't done this in a very long time. And especially because, like, I don't get my eyebrows done at all. So, I haven't done this in, like, I don't even know how long. So, I think that this might just change the game for me when it comes to my, like, natural brow look. And this new compact mirror is a part of the new collection for Merit 2. FYI, guys. It's super cute. It's heavy duty. It's, like, very heavy. It's like, it's really nice quality. I don't know, I just like really like it. Okay, I already see like the brow browing, you know what I mean? It's not giving brightening concealer though, so I might use this plus something else. Maybe the Merit one. This is my first time using this product. Um, using the Anastasia Brow Freeze with like something on my eyebrows. So this will be a first for me. Now let's see how it turns out. I'm trying to clean this brow brush because it's giving build up. Maybe I should have done this before the concealer. I'm feeling like I should have did this before the concealer, but I think I'm making it work. Like it's not, doesn't look terrible. This one is browing today. Okay. All right, I'm going to just trust the process and keep going with it. <laughs> I feel like they look a little nuts right now. Okay, foundation concealer. Yeah, that's what it's kind of giving. Big side for foundation. That's how I'm going to use this brush. All right, so 
this is the bone color so obviously this is like too light right yeah like that's super bright i wouldn't put that on my face so i'm thinking if i could do this and this maybe bright in here bright in here and then put that top on and then take some of the born this way concealer which is a bit darker you see the difference like I'm not so positive that this is my color if I'm honest all right let's just see how this goes we're gonna try this out this is gonna go under my foundation anyways so regardless of what happens I think we'll be okay wow i haven't put makeup on my face in so long this feels crazy i'm so glad i got a new brush this feels like super profession now oh that is blending nicely i really like that color i'm using the morphe m530 brush i don't even know what this brush is actually for and i'm gonna use the morphe using the morphe bacon set i'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of this I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this under and around my eyes. All right, what time is it? Oof, 5.48, y'all. Thank God I don't plan on doing like lashes or any like freaking other stuff. The Money Maker Makeup by Mario Foundation. Let's say a prayer that this is not too light for me. Okay, let's just think positive. Mm. I am using the bronzer by Mary in this color. And I am honestly applying it like a concealer. I mean like a like a contour. <laughs> We're gonna use the Merit brush. This is the brush that comes with your Merit kit. Mm -hmm. I am not mad at the way my face is turning out. Not bad at all. I also have this Fenty bronzer. So I think I'm going to hit that ooh, around my face real quick. Oh, what am I gonna use though? I think I'm gonna go with the deeper shade. I think this one for tonight because it is like giving like a night little soiree. So we're gonna just like put her here, put her here and put her here. The thing that I noticed about Merit, Merit's um, blush is that it blends away really nicely. Like, trail it over. I just like kind of squish my brush and then rub that over my nose. I just kind of go in this sweeping motion and then open the brush back up. Yeah, that's giving the rosiness that I was looking for. So, done with that. And I have nothing to set this with. Um, we're just going to be rocking with the face. So, what I am going to use, though, with this um, Island Ting bronzer, I'm going to use it as, like, a shadow so that I can create some depth in my in my lids you know because right now they're concealed or they're contoured i really need this brush i hope it's not so pretty i just want to add some like depth to my lid i want to add some mascara i really want to get my hands on the fenty mascara all right so the face is pretty much done i need to get dressed because it is exactly 606 and we actually need to be leaving so this is the outfit i'm wearing just some high waist jeans and this little like bustier top i think i'm gonna just throw on some sneakers and we're gonna wear the fenty perfume what a nice day oh i forgot I forgot that um, my battery's about to die. I should have changed Woo. that. You can add more to your cell if you want. That's just perfume or some liquor. Um, most of it isn't natural, but I would rather you say you can just infuse your orange liquor. Oranges into any spirit you like. Um, just take the peel and let that 
I sip this beer for about 24 hours. And you'll have it all. If you want to ask me, you definitely can too. big chilling today the, the tequila tasting last night was a freaking blast um his name is nikki his business is super dope what he has going on is, is really cool and he has a lot of information about like tequila and other spirits and stuff that he does tastings for um so anyways we had a great time but just an update the makeup by mario wore really nicely i'm actually happy i made that purchase because um it makes me want to like keep doing a face i still want to get like a sh one shade darker co of a color but for the most part it was cute it was a little bit casty when i took a photo but i think it's just because i don't i haven't hit like my perfect color yet but anywho so today i am editing i already started editing my skincare routine video that's not going up until wednesday when i'm playing myself because i need to be editing this video right now i'm freaking starving so and i need coffee I did drink some water this morning, but I really want to get, I really want to make some coffee. Um, I work tomorrow, so today is also about to be a prep for work day. That includes packing. Luckily, I did laundry this week and the house is clean, so I don't really have to do things like that. But I need to pack my bag and I need to cook so i don't know what i'm gonna cook i just took out this big thing of ground turkey so i'll do something with that usually when i cook i cook enough for like me and then like for nova just is with her dad but i just whatever i have left over i always have to left over so that's usually what she eats while i'm gone let's put that on the list also today we need to make a grocery order i do not plan on leaving my house today unless i go down to my pool like that's the only thing i plan on doing <laughs> i guess i'm gonna make these biscuits because why not Okay, participating in a little be in work session because um, I'm almost done with this video. It's super fire. I hope you guys like the edits and then my random assortment of breakfast items. <laughs> I don't really know. Got the video done. It's uploading. About to go to the pool. Been back from the pool for a while now. So what I'll do tomorrow on my layover is start editing this video that I'm filming now. But I am probably going to close it out tonight and then start a new weekly vlog tomorrow. So 
right now I'm just kind of tidying up and getting my stuff prepared because I do have to be at the airport at like 6.05 in the morning. So stay tuned for next week's weekly vlog because there will be some flight attendant content in there. Ooh. But yeah, I'm about to wind down, take a shower finally, and then tidy up my crib so it's nice and neat for when I come home after work on Wednesday. I'm going to wrap this vlog up right here. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, I love you. Shout out to you guys watching the video and interacting with my content. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in next week's weekly vlog and Wednesday's video. Bye.